Oh shit. Here we go again. You see, I'm celebrating this now, but I'm still very much a broken man. To catch everyone up to speed, for the better part of two months, Dead by Daylight has had a bug with kills and sacrifices that made them not properly tracked in emblems, challenges, and achievements. This is very much an issue as like 90% of all killer achievements involve killing and sacrificing, and I experienced this pain firsthand. If you saw my first achievement video, I decided it'd be a fun little challenge to try and complete one of the more difficult killer achievements, Tools of the Trade. This achievement requires you to get a merciless victory five times with only using three universal perks. I heard about this bug, but decided to give it a go anyways because I am often idiotically optimistic. But to my surprise, the first two games I played counted towards the achievement. I got a full merciless victory on Blight and then played a Wraith game where I actually got the Devout Emblem bug, but it still counted towards my achievement. Oh hell yeah, although the emblems are broken, just looks like the achievement would still keep track. With that information at my disposal, I played about 30 more games, got the bug 8 or 9 more times, stubbed my toe and it didn't count any of them. With the realization that I just had some dumb luck at the start, I decided to put this achievement on the back burner until a fix was made. And now that we have that fix, it's time for my revenge. <laughs> I'm sorry dude, what the fuck am I, am I like John Wick? Also, I know in my first video I said that I was going to do this challenge with a different killer each time and use different universal perks. No. No, I don't think I will. Yeah, no, fuck that. I just want to finish this achievement. But, you know, I'll still do it with different killers. I hope you all enjoy this video. And, you know, if you do, make sure to subscribe and comment what achievement I should do next. If we reach 2K likes, I'll upload my games unlisted so you can view the entirety. And since you hit the goal on the last video, those games are linked in the pinned comment here. So as we left off, my completion was at 2 of 5, meaning we would need three more games to finish this challenge. For my first game, I decided to go with Clown, because I am one. I'm a funny guy just because I'm dressed like a clown. But also I had some really good games with them when I had tried previously. As soon as I loaded in, I realized I might truly become the clown. We were put on the Fractured Cow Shed, one of the worst killer maps in the entire game, but I couldn't let DBD beat my mental fortitude. At least not this early. All right, we are on not a great map. I was going to ask y'all how you're doing. Hope you're doing swell. I was doing okay until I saw this map. Also, my outfit's terrifying. This is probably what I get for this. But I thought, you know, Clown is pretty good with some of these perks, so I figured we could try to utilize some of that to our advantage. Also, shutting down loops with the bottles is pretty nice. So, you know, we ran the combo of Jolt, Sloppy Butcher, and Fearmonger, which I think is pretty good on Clown, but this is not a great map. It just really isn't. Is anyone here? Is anyone here? Please be some. Oh, they were, but they're not. Oh, no. This is Sanj. We are also using the uh, bleach and chloroform add-ons for this man. Nice. That should get a nice little slow on the Kate Denson. Hello there, gamer. Is she going to drop it? Nope, she doesn't. Smart play, smart play. And now I got to use corn vision. Oh, my God. Oh, I actually caught her with that, and she had life. So she should get slowed down here. Oh, that's wonderful. They didn't even go and take the hit. Thank you so much, whoever this was. Go ahead and break this. Reload some bottles, why don't we? Yeah, how about you get off that? Oh my god, it's a headshot! Oh my god, get down, sniper! <laughs> what are you... I don't know what you're doing, but... Touche, touche. We'll go ahead and try to put her on this back hook over here. That should be a good spot. Yeah, I think Clown's got good good ways to like transport himself with the bottles, with the yellow ones, get a little speed in there, and also, you know, slowing down with the uh, the intoxication. All right, now we must locate, figure out where in the hell that Claudette went, because she is certainly still around here. Yep, okay, no, this is not Claudette. This is actually a different gamer. Nice, we'll go ahead and grab this ace. Oh, Nice, hold up, hold up. We can actually convert this pretty nicely. Oh, very epic. Don't have that hard, don't have that hard. Dead hard. No dead hard. Oh, that's wonderful right now. Let's go ahead, pick her up, put her on the hook. We can refill our bottles. We are in a pretty good spot right now. They can't heal up because of the sloppy butcher. Hold up, watch this, watch this. Tom Brady in his prime, not this season because he kind of sucks this year. Look at that. All right, never mind. I still missed. All right, all right, this is it. This is it. Oh, come on, that was the headshot I needed. Come on, Ace. Oh my god, did you see that juke? Give this guy a fucking 88 overall on Madden. He's insane. We'll throw that there. I don't know why I did that. It was just more as more like a scare tactic. Throw my, my purple haze over at him. Uh, okay, there is one in here. I was about to walk to the other side of the map, but there was a hook already here. Also, I feel like I'm talking a little bit fast. It's because for some reason I'm, I'm very chilly. 
I don't know why, but I'm trying to warm myself up, I feel, inherently, and I, I just walk past her. Hello, ma'am. Uh, all right, listen. Oh, I thought she, maybe she was going to enact some scarecrow strategies. You see her straw hat? Maybe she was just going to stand still in the corn. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Thank you. We'll just get the speed in there. I think they're going to be doing this, but I think we're in a pretty good spot right now. I think our gen defense, uh, if I if I recall correctly, it's based on, like, I think the first nine minutes of a match or something, how many gens that you have remaining. I could be wrong. I'm usually wrong, so I'm probably wrong. We'll go ahead and reload our bottles right here. Uh, this is still affected from Jolt, so I'm just going to look around here real quick just in case. And then we'll just uh, we'll hawk a bottle down and then go try to get a little bit of speed. All right, they managed to get the main building done. Let's see if they went in for a... Oh, nice. All right, they're going to drop that probably. Oh, 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 a bit of... That's a fence, Claudette. Is <laughs> you know, it's 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 my biggest adversary. I I be running into those things like like crazy. Oh, oh, it was. Oh, <clears throat> she almost had a second win in her eyes. She was like, wait, wait, am I gonna get up? Nah, I'm actually gonna lay on the ground. Okay, yeah, no. Uh, thank you for not dropping that pallet. This makes things incredibly easy for me. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. You know what, guys? Sometimes the DBD matchmaking be on your side. Sometimes you get nothing but incredible freaking juicers that just ring you out for every little bit of liquid you got, which that sounds I illegal, but other times you, you can do good. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. All right, so we got our speed going in here. I see nice uh, Shereel. Oh, no, that's unfortunate. Oh, I actually hit her with that. She just didn't scream. Does she have Calm Spirit? Um, No, she doesn't have Calm Spirit. It just didn't make the uh, the sound. Strange. Okay. We'll just keep going on after her here. Does she drop this down immediately? No. We'll just run this way. I got stuck. Hello, Ace. We'll go after you instead. He ran into the bones. Oh, my God. Um, ma'am, where are you going? Let me tell you something. Better not be that. Jen. Actually, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's see. Let's get this angle. Oh, my God. Cut him off right there. Just cut him off. We'll take that down. They probably get that Jen done, however. But I think it's okay still at this spot of the game. Also, perhaps it's the fear from the skin that's being, like, struck into them. Because this skin is nightmare fuel. I don't know why I ran this combination, but it's terrifying. Alright, we see blood, we see blood, we see blood. Going over towards Shaq, it would appear. Okay, well, she probably hits that window, right? Oh, no, she has Sprint Burst. That's smart play, smart play. Oh, but that was not a smart play, as you should have just went directly to the pallet, ma'am. We'll go ahead and pick her up, put her on this hook over here. They are saving their their peeps pretty quickly, that's for sure. Making sure to save them, that's always good. Good for the team, good for the squad. Bad for me, though. All right, I hear things. Can I cancel? Oh, vault into me? Yes, no. Oh, oh. But she kind of ran back into that. <laughs> Almost juiced me, though. Nice, good work. We'll pick her up. They're, they're avoiding pallets, which uh, maybe maybe they don't want splinters. They didn't bring their protective gloves. Uh, whatever it is, uh, do more of it, please. <laughs> please, guys, do more of it. I had a lot of stress with this achievement the first time trying to do it. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and just... Okay, do not teabag me, sir. Normally, I might actually let you leave in that occasion because you're being a little bit of a goofball, a little bit of a, a little bit of a goofy man. But uh, in this case, not so much. Need to get my kills where I can. That is a kill for us. So we're gonna go ahead, throw our speed bottle over here. Just a terrible throw. Oh, but we still managed to hit it. That's wonderful. All right, we see blood. Was over here. Oh, someone's over here. No, I hear you. Oh, oh, don't you dare comp corner me. Don't you dare do it. Oh, she's considering it. She's considering. She's considering. Does she have off the record? Okay. Nope, that was just a dead heart right there. All right, nice. We'll go ahead, get her. I don't know if I need to slug because the things were broken before. Meaning I think I should be able to get a merciless killer even if they get the hatch. I, I think I should. Based on, like, how I've been able to protect gens and such. We'll go ahead and hit that. I don't know if someone's in here. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's just go ahead and get her out of the locker because we know that they're in there. Okay, they weren't. I was <laughs> I was hoping it would have been, it would have been a pretty nice uh, nice little locker god play there. Oh, oh, but there is someone here. Damn, she just took that vault, huh? Oh, my God. She has the lighters. Oh, my God. She ran on the outside. Round the outside. 
Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, but she hit that. That's wonderful. Wonderful from her. What way is she running? Is she just staying on the outside here? Oh, no. She ran this way still. Oh, that's going to be unfortunate. She's going to get stuck right there, but she's going to drop down that pallet probably. Oh, she's dropping everything now. She's dropping bows on him. When did this Kate decide to become the greatest gamer in existence? Oh, no, no, no. Don't think don't think you're just going to get away from me like that. No, no, no. You're being silly if you think that's the case. All right, now we do the blind corn shot. Boom. Got him. <laughs> I mean, I hit it, to be fair. I mean, she dropped on the pallet, but to be fair, I hit it. Oh, one more? Okay, that was a good little evasion. Oh, she kept running. Oh, uh, she's going to make it there, too. Ooh, this means that the other person's here. Oh, well, would you look at that? Shall we do a little bit of slugging to secure the 4K? I think we might. Through the tree? Oh, come on, Tony. Say it ain't so. I will not go. Nice. We should get this. Hopefully, the other chick does not have... I'm actually going to go over to this way just to make sure that she doesn't have Unbreakable. Oh, yeah. She crawling away. She crawling. But, but you will not go anywhere, ma'am. I need to get this freaking achievement. All right. Spend way too much time wasting because the spaghetti code was broken. I will now get my vengeance. All right. We throw this over here. Hopefully, we should still be able to get to her. Where did I even down her at? Oh, <laughs> where do you think you're going? Maybe leave it a trail of strawberry jam on the floor. All right, we can go ahead and put her in the basement, I guess, because that's the closest place. This should be a merciless killer. All right, if, if all things considered, two gens left, the three perks, this should be merciless. All right, I think this is a pretty good start. I think we had good, decent gen defense, some decent chases. Oh, wait, maybe this pallet break is going to be the difference maker. Give me it real quick. Okay, nope. See, it wasn't going to be before, but now that we got the destruction, it's got to be merciless. Oh, now that's juicy. Okay, so one down. Yeah, honestly, not that challenging of a game. For once, I got to thank the roulette wheel that is behavior skill-based matchmaking. Just like my first attempt, my first game netted me progress towards the achievement. With only two games remaining, I ended up going with Spirit, mainly because she's busted and I thought it'd be easier. Morale was high until I realized that I took the wrong fucking add-on. I would meant to go into this game running faster charge time on phase and faster power recharge, but instead I had faster recharge and the Uchiwa, which refills your power when stunned. It's still a good add-on, and Spirit's base kit is good, so I wasn't too upset. Until I got bodied and lost the game. Honestly didn't play that bad, but the Claudette made some really solid plays that basically won the game for her team. But, you know, wasn't the build I wanted, so it doesn't count. Now, after making sure I had the add-ons I actually wanted and swapping up my perks again, I gave Spirit another go. The survivors brought an offering to take us to Midwich, and I'm more okay with that, as that's probably my favorite map in the entire game. All right, we are on Midwich, and they took me here, which makes me think that potentially... Hey, yo! Hey, hey, she had a fat ass, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, all right, I deserve to lose my last game because I did take the right add-ons, so you know what? That, that just, you know, that's the most Tony thing that could have possibly ever happened. Oh, actually, let's go through here. Let's see if I can see someone. Let's see if I can see them. You know, a little, little gen action. Oh, hey there, big man. Vittorio. Don't, no, I'm going, I'm doubting him. Please don't DC. Just please don't DC. I'm sorry, Vittorio. I got it. I got to hook you. Just don't DC. I appreciate you. I might even let you go by the end of this. I might even do it. Like, you don't know. I could let you go. You you truly never know. I I could turn a new leaf and say screw the challenge, right? Oh, all right. So we see Ada over there. I'm just going to go ahead and break this. Wait for our power to recharge back up. She's going to run around through here. Don't go for the save. I wonder if she does go for the save. She might actually just go for the unhook right away. Wow, she did. All right. I'm not, I'm not going for you, Vittorio. I swear. I'm going for this chick. Let's see how she does this. All right, she's smart. Nice. Okay, okay. I had to do a little, a little debate mind game there. She didn't fall for it. You really can't uh, do the the teleport or the standstill mind games anymore. Okay, that's two gens done. Really, just like that. On oh, God. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Listen here, please get off of this. I know. I know. Listen. You're going to die for the cause, Mr. Uchiha1127. And honestly, I will remember you. I'll write your name down in the history books. 
Oh, he's dead. I actually don't know if I can do this now because he killed himself, basically. Fair enough, but I, yeah, I don't know if I can do that based on that because I think I need a lot more points than... They just run past me? What the fuck is going on? I'm gonna go after this guy. Yeah, we'll go after this dude. He's gonna play defense. Get that sloppy butcher so they're actually gonna lose out on that. I, I was gonna go for you anyway, sir. We're gonna go that. He's gonna go ahead and hit that vault. Yep. So we break this. See if he tries to vault back in. He did. Oh, he ran out the side. Okay, no, I see you, big man. Does he have the pallet down here? If he does, that's huge. Wait, looking for the dead hard? Looking for the dead hard? No dead hard. Wonderful, wonderful action right there from Felix Richter. We need to try to spread out our hooks as well. Um, I can go up here. We can maybe go after Ada again. Okay, we see someone that's going to be down on that gen. Spies from the shadows. I'm going to tell you. It's underrated. It gives you. It doesn't give you like exact locations of where people at, but it gives you pretty dang good information and it's almost constant you see yep they just went under the stairs there i guess they just went by as i went to go to the gen don't go for the heel that's all i'm telling you don't go for the heel they ran through here they dropped down is the question nope they kept running hello rebecca had to make sure let's go and go get her the give her a couple three marrons nice she's right through here oh my god the dead art she must have just thought i was gonna be right behind her no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fair. That's fair. Fair enough. I'm I'm just so curious, dude. The gens are flying though, but I do have the noed. That's my that's my like saving grace. Okay, they're in here. They're in here. This is huge. Ouch. Wah. Does he go for the save? No, he didn't. Smart. She's right up here. Nice. She's gonna be using this pallet more, more than likely. Oh, nice work. Look away. She goes for the blind. No, you can't run past me, Ada. I see what you're trying to do there. I got ears. Listen, I, does Spirit... I, of course Spirit has ears. What <laughs> What am I even saying? Um. Okay, cool. There's a hook here. Sometimes the Midwitch hook, hook spawns are really bad. So thankfully, <laughs> I had one there. Because sometimes you get hallways and there's not a single hook to be found. Okay, no, actually. So we see that. They're going to be running through here. They ran down. So I'm going to go past the hook and go down this hallway. Hopefully she doesn't give up. They healed. I'm imagining they drop. Yep. I told you that that was going to happen, right? Yep. We got that information. Wonderful. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Okay. I might get... Uh, I might get negative points for proximity to hook, though. Let's go ahead and just try to walk away as fast as possible. I wanted to be far. I mean, I, I did not want to go back to her, but she just ran in for the save. What am I supposed to do in that situation? You guys tell me, all right? Let's walk down here. We're listening. We're listening. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We see that. We see that. We know where that is. That's by the uh, library. So they're probably trying to heal up. I'm just going to go ahead and use my power and get back over to that uh, actual side. Yeah, we know you're back here. I know you're back here. Well, that was wonderful. Oh, she didn't even go for the save. That's chill. Do I got a hook in here? I do got a hook in here. I'm going to let her unhook because, again, we need to get as many hooks as possible in this. So I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna start breaking some things to get points, to get some objective points, right? I don't know how, I don't know what we're looking at yet. Destruction on there. This should give us some, at least a, you know, some good points towards the objective category. Ma'am, what are you doing? All right, we go in the chase on her, I guess. Oh, she used this, nice. We can actually destroy this. Now they're probably gonna go reset and heal. They are gonna be on death hook. We might not even have to use our no wed. We don't have to be a stinky gamer. Let's keep being in chase for a little bit. She's going to drop this pallet instantly. Nice. And then I'm just going to sit here. Oh, look at her go. Look at her go. Look at her crawl. Okay. I mean, I respect that. I respect that indeed. All right. The Rebecca's going to be dead unless she has DS. She does not have DS. So she's going to be dead. We need to go for the Ada. We, and then we probably need to slug, honestly. It's a bit of a bit of a cringe conundrum, but I think we kind of have to. And it's mainly because we get next to no chase points for the Vittorio because he died so fast. He basically just gave up on the game. We'll listen to the gens just to see if we hear anything. Hopefully get some value from spies. Nope, nothing on there. We can just try to monitor the four gens that we still have up. Uh, is this outside or is this inside? Okay, that's one's inside. We'll use that real quick. All right, this has been worked on. This has been worked on. We'll go ahead and hit it. We'll see if they've ran anywhere. Hello, ma'am. We'll hit this. Okay, she kept running. Smart, smart, smart. Let's go after Miss Ada. Nope, you got no pallet here, unfortunately. Rebecca has already used it. All right, cool. I think the longer we just keep this going, too. Is she going to create a house? 
She created a house. That's hilarious. We'll just go and do it again. I mean, she wants the blind points. That's fine. All right, hello, gamer. We'll go ahead and get that down. Now, the question is, do I slug? Do I slug for the four? I might have to do it, which is just so scummy. I hate doing it. She could have Unbreakable, but I need to find the Felix now. Found him. We found him. We're going to find him. And we're going to bring him to justice. That's wonderful. Normally, that doesn't work. That normally does not work at all. So we can go ahead and get him. Where did we even down the Ada? The Ada is somewhere somewhere out towards the middle of the map. Hopefully, we can hear her. She crawl in this corner? She did crawl in the corner. Okay, that was nice. I was glad I was able to find her. That's where Deerstalker could have come in clutch. Actually, damn, actually, shit. I can't actually do this. I need to find the hatch. All right, I found the hatch. But I cannot let her get out there because I had no hooks to actually make it to. I guess we'll just let her wiggle off right here. She probably goes for a comp corner. Not. Nah. And the Noed comes through. She might just keep going for the door. I'm sorry, Bab. I need to try and hit this. It's going to be close. I think I should make it if I take this route. I know I, I play it a bit scubby, but if I could get the Merciless, that would be huge for my overall mental health. Now, just show me, just show me the Merciless killer. Why don't you go ahead and show it to me? Honestly, if I do get it on this time, then it's pretty lucky too, because the Vittorio just kind of gave up. Please give me Merciless. Oh, just the feeling. What can that at that M come through? Oh, it's so tasty. I was actually quite nervous to see the outcome of this game after the Vittorio attempted to kill himself on hook almost immediately, but thankfully I got enough points for Merciless and we were now just one game away from completion. For my final game, I came up with a pretty fun build to run. Fearmonger, Monstrous Shrine, and Deerstalker. My thought was I can hook people on Scorch Hooks and then people are forced to get off gens to remove the blindness effect from Fearmonger to see where their teammates are hooked and they have to unhook quickly otherwise they would just go to second state. And then Deerstalker was for if I needed to slug late game for the 4k. And what better killer to slug with than Mr. Booba Sawyer. This game went fantastically so I'll just let the last couple minutes play out for you. Hopefully she doesn't make, uh, she's gonna make that window. This is so unfortunate gaming. Okay, never mind, it's less. <laughs> Wunderbar. Do I have any hooks over here to the left? I think, okay, I think I do. I should be able to make this one now that I see it. It's a bit of a blunder on my part. I should have went to this one originally, but I guess I just didn't see it in time. We'll go ahead and grab her there. And let's look for the last person, the Elodie. With her around here. Yeah, I hear them. I saw the brief little bit of scratch marks. All right, Elodie. Thank you so much for choosing to die for the cause. This should be it. This should be the final kill that we need for the Merciless. Okay. Whitney Booba. Listen, I need everyone in the comments to give me their best. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> or maybe don't. You don't actually just don't do that. You don't have to do it. All right. I got to wait. Let's see. Can we get the tools of the trade achievement? Can we see it pop up? Ruthless? Ruthless? So yeah, that's a bit awkward. What I thought would be my final game for the achievement ended up resulting in only a Ruthless Killer. And the culprit? A Silver Chase Emblem. No one really ran me for an extended period of time, and I spaced my hooks out pretty well, so I was a bit confused at why I failed getting Merciless. It didn't register to me in game, but I believe it can be attributed to two events. Midway through the game, I had two survivors on hooks and was chasing another. The UE goes in for a save on the LED, but almost simultaneously Bill kills himself on second hook. Then near the end of the game, I downed Fang Min, and immediately after I found the LED. I had a quick chase, hooked her, and secured the 4k, but again left another survivor to die on second hook. If I avoided the Elodie and let her unhook the Fang, I believe I would have gotten at least Gold Chaser, which would have secured the Merciless. But in classic Tony fashion, I didn't realize this and thought the game was penalizing me for downing people too quickly, which in fact is not how that works. I thought maybe I need to have some longer chases, which again is stupid, so I decided to play some Plague. Bad idea. Got taken to RPD, four gens were done in five minutes. You know, I made a bit of a comeback with one gen left, but it wasn't enough to deal with all the utility they brought. A little annoying, but not a big deal. And that's when the fun began. The next game, however, much more annoying. We got RPD again without a single map offering in the lobby. You know, should have known at this point that Plague was just cursed. The game started out pretty normal, but then Nia didn't get safe till second state, Vittorio gave up on hook, and Meg straight up DC'd. I wanna die. 
I don't know about y'all, but I personally don't think you should get punished for your opponents being smooth brain. Even at this point, I was still upset over that Bubba game. Man, what could have been? I could have had the achievement completed, but instead now I'm on a three game loss streak and starting to get a little annoyed. That's when I decided to actually look up how to get points in each emblem, realized that I was stupid for thinking I need to chase longer, and went back on the Bubba. Would this game play out just like the first, or would I finally complete the achievement? Okay, this person's running inside. Do I cut them off over here? Okay, they've been saved. Can I hit the craziest play? This is the most insane moonwalk you've ever seen in your entire life. <laughs> there it was. That was that was the moonwalk. That was the moonwalk. Is that hook still up? I couldn't even see. Not sure if this one's dead or not. We'll do this. Put her up there. She is close to being down. All right. We gotta go for this person. Jake. Jake, I'm gonna need you to get off this, buddy. Jake, I need you to get off this one, buddy. That's a boon. So we down him right here. And we see that. Oh no. We see her around here. Hit one of these. Followed by one of these. We know she has dead hard. Well, she tried the dead hard, but it did not work. Just don't DC on me. That's all I ask. This has got to be it, right? I've ended these chases quick enough. I think I've gotten in enough chases. Surely, right? Surely. The Jake's still there. We got the Deer Stalker, which is huge when you're going for a slug. I'm sorry, Jake. I know you have such fucking cool drip. Don't get me, don't get me wrong. You're actually insane. I love that you have this on, but I need to put you on this hook. If I don't get a god dang Merciless from this, right? We, have, we got... We got the hooks, we protected the jets, we have done everything in our possibility to do this. Maybe, maybe I can clear one more door. One more door. Just for the road. One more, please. There it is. Tools of the trade. I don't even have a chainsaw. <laughs> is that what I had to sacrifice? I lose my chainsaw to get the achievement? Oh, man. All right. Oh, finally, though. Jeez, that took way longer than it should have. So there you have it. Finally got my revenge on the Tools of the Trade achievement. Partially because of me being stupid and partially because the spaghetti code being broken. Now that the sacrifice bug has been fixed, we can do our killer achievements along with survivor ones to get closer to our goal of 100%ing Dead by Daylight. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Again, if we reach 2k likes, I will release all the games where I got merciless as well as that first Bubba game because it was pretty funny. Let me know in the comments what achievement you'd like to see me do next. That's all for this time. Hope to see you here again. Peace.